What's up guys, Vaporology back in your face today with another one. I was looking around and I didn't see really many of these videos and no one done properly anyway. So I'm going to show you how to upgrade your battery in your 20 watt eye stick. Basically this is going to be a breakdown video, just short, sweet, to the point, And I will show you a couple tricks I've learned along the way. I might save you a little bit of a headache or just fighting with it anyway. So this will be a quick video. Uh, so you need, there's four screws, top and bottom, two on the top, two on the bottom. It's a funky size, it's a 1.3 millimeter hex screw, or hex bit, sorry, is what I'm using. Let's see if I can just confirm that for you, yeah. Chrome Vadium 1.3. Anyway, uh, so yeah, just basically turn and make sure it's off, so five clicks. Always make sure it's off. Pop the four screws out. And I'm not going to do all this stuff on camera. I'm just going to explain the pertinent stuff to you. Um, sorry about that, guys. I'll try and keep things in focus here. There. Auto focus. i to turn that on. Okay, so the four screws. And uh, there is kind of a trick to taking this thing apart. I've done it once before. Uh, it's pretty easy but they've kind of taped the board and stuff. So the bottom will just pop right off. Top will pull out. Now it only slides out in one direction. There's these two foam things here. These are just to protect the battery from shorting out. They, they can come off. Uh, so don't worry if they fall off. Now you'll see it'll go forward, but it won't come out. Now why? Well, it's hitting the button. So it has to come out from the bottom. Or we got to get the buttons out, right? So what do we do? Well, we got to get the buttons out. There's no way it can come out the other way uh, without the buttons. So you need to basically pull this front faceplate off. And it's kind of scary, but you got to do it. Um, it's just plastic. Just don't pry it too much or you will crease it. It's just glued down. You hear it? It broke there now. You break with it. There you go. So the buttons immediately fell out. And it's just taped down. So to put it back down, make sure you don't stick it to anything and get the glue all covered in dust or you won't be able to stick it back down. So now there's a little tiny one in the top. See that little guy there? That one comes out. Now that main button will fall out and this thing here will slide out. As soon as that happens, you can slide it out. So you want to go from the top. <clears throat> the whole unit just comes apart just like that. So there you go, I've been through this before. Or no, I haven't done this video yet. Sorry, different different unit, I always open them up. Uh, so Fastex actually selling these replacement boards now. So you can actually get spares for them. Uh, I think they're like nine bucks, pretty cheap. Uh, so pretty awesome. You also got the mini 10 water too. So this is just taped to the back. Don't think it's glued or anything, it's just taped. So you just gotta wiggle it a bit and it will pop loose. And you'll see there's two Sticky foam pieces on the top and bottom, like I showed you at the beginning. And there you go. So now you get your soldering iron in here and desolder the black and the red wire. Connect that to your new battery, stick it down, and go. I would always recommend using an IMR. These are not, I don't, yeah, these are not protected batteries. So I don't believe they are. No, they're not. So it's built into the chip. IMR is a safer technology anyway, but yeah, you could easily go with, you know, a Panasonic 34 or 3100 milliamp. They're only putting out 20 watts, so you don't need a whole bunch of power. You don't need a, you know, a VTC4 in here is actually not doing you any good. Might as well just go put one of those little blue generic ones in here because this thing doesn't require a lot of power. The only thing you'd watt is more capacity but i find this thing like i run it at you know 15 watts or something i don't use it as my only device um but it lasts me days before i have to charge it days so that's pretty much it short sweet to the point to put it back together you do the reverse of those steps so you need to make sure that this slides back in and the way it, like the buttons oh that's backwards this also has glue on it so you don't want to get 
this all caught with stuff. And if you have an issue where you've messed up the tape or whatever, you can always go to like the dollar store, Staples or wherever, and pick up something like this, which is just double-sided tape. It's really thin, like glue, basically. And you can just roll it down, and it just basically puts a layer of that same kind of tape on there that's already on there. I use it for all kinds of stuff. It works great. So the way that it, if you look at the buttons, they have that ridge on the top and bottom there, that little lip there and on the, so when you slide these face plates in, that's what actually holds the button from falling out. So if these aren't taped down properly, your buttons could potentially just fall out. That's all that's holding it together. This is an authentic eye stick as well, so they'll all be the same. And that's it. You would just swap the battery out, put it back together. And when you put it together, like I said, you got to put the battery in first, then put the buttons back in, and make sure you're doing it correctly, that fire button's at the top of the shell. And there is a little slot for the circuit board to fit into. Makes it a bit easy on you. Just like so. Never grab the top and bottom of the battery at the same time or you're going to be in for a shock. Especially with these little foam pieces off. And like I said, these are just to protect anything from shorting out on that battery. And uh, most of these cheaper, even the Ego batteries and that sort of thing, they all have it. So make sure they go back on. Before I do that, I'm going to put the buttons and everything in because the screen actually kind of locks in underneath of the... So these just drop in. They're both the same. So first off, I'll slide this thing in. Make sure the tape is on the appropriate side. I usually show all the reassembly stuff, but this is a pretty quick short video, so I'll just get this done for you guys. It's kind of this is probably one of the more frustrating parts right here, is monking with this stupid thing. But it once you get one to go, it kind of holds the other one in and get in there. It's sitting right. Okay, so no, it was fine. So now I just drop the buttons all in, kind of hold it straight upright, and then you just make sure that this piece pushes that switch down on the top there. It's kind of got to drop in just right, and then just squish it down. Same with the bottom here. And I've already screwed the top down, which I kind of shouldn't have done. So I'm going to backtrack a second here. So now the bottom goes on, and it kind of holds that uh, screen in place. So you got to line this up again, just like so. And you can see that, sorry about that, you can see it pulls that screen in there and holds that bottom piece in. So screws go in. Sorry, I was trying to fight with this on camera. And don't over tighten, you will strip them. Throw it around. They're not magnetic screws. They're obviously using aluminum or some cheaper form of metal besides steel. Okay, and there you go. So now I got to pop the top off just a little bit. Actually, I don't really even have to take the whole thing off. I just need to be able to slide that other smaller little piece up underneath. That's enough there. And just make sure you're going the right direction. Put that in. And when you push it down, it's going to put it in the right place for you. So that would be it. Be really simple to swap that battery out. I obviously didn't swap the batteries. I didn't need to, but that's all you would have to do. Five clicks would turn it back on. No harm, no foul. So that is inside the E-Leaf iStick.
how to upgrade the battery, all the internals, that kind of thing. Hope you like the video, guys. Thanks for all the support. Go ahead, hit the thumbs up button for me. Always love to hear from you guys. Make it cloudy for me, my friend. Keep calm. Vape on.